What's up guys? Uh, today I'm going to be painting the back of the 29 gallon cichlid tank. Uh, I'm going to be painting it black. I got my black paint over here. Um, <coughs> it's black magic. It's leftover black paint that I had uh, from a project I did at work. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to siphon the tank down very low. Uh, I got my 5 gallon bucket and my other uh, 3 gallon water jug. And while I'm at it, I'm going to finish painting the back of the wall because we just recently painted our room. So, uh, I'll bring you a video here, and then I, uh, when I get it all drained. Okay, so I think this is as far as I'm going to drain it down. I just need it to be light enough to just move the tank over a little bit. So, I'm keeping <coughs> three gallons of the tank water, because uh, this, will, this will end up being a really big chain, uh, water chain. And then I'm, keep, I'm keeping all the, the rock and the driftwood and the plants uh, submerged in water. Uh, so none of the bacteria on them dies. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, move the tank and I'm going to wipe down. It's a good chance for me to wipe down all this brown algae off the, the back and the front of the tank. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And you can actually get a shot for once of all my fish all clumped in one corner. So, alright, next clip I'll be painting it. Uh, I think that'll be the next clip anyway. Alright, so I got the tank moved and I got all my algae cleaned off, so I'm going to be ripping off this uh, paper background and wiping down the back of the tank and then I'm going to start painting it. Um, what I didn't mention before is the way I'm going to paint this one this time is I'm going to uh, be using a roller um, just to see uh, if it's easier and if it's a better coat. Uh, if it ends up being any easier and it puts down a thicker, heavier, you know, uh, better coat, I'm going to probably paint the back of my 125 one more time with it just to make sure I don't have any light coming through. So uh, I'm going to try to put my camera up on a tripod uh, while I paint this, but I lost the piece uh, that screws into the bottom of the camera for the tripod, so I don't know how to work. So anyways, uh, I'll bring it up All right, so I got the first coat of black on right now. Um, sorry, I forgot to set it up on a tripod, but um, I'll go ahead and set it up on a tripod for the second coat. I'm going to let this tack up a little bit. And uh, I'll roll the second coat. All right, what's up, guys? I uh, got the back of the tank all painted. Uh, took a little longer. This corner of the tank right here was a bitch. I don't know. It, the paint didn't want to stick or whatever. So um, I'm going to go ahead and set the tank back up. I might leave the filter on that end. Um, just try something different. So anyways, um, I'll show you what it looks like when I got it all filled back up. And I'm going to redo the aquascape. So uh, I'll talk to you guys then. All right, so I am finished painting the background. Um, <laughs> I wish I had some black airline tubing, and I wish I could do something different with this uh, intake tube, but uh, if you watch my other videos, I had to rig this up, uh, because no, the strainer did not come with uh, this filter, and the heater blends in pretty well, it's, the heater is right there, um, and there's a fish, the fish really pop against this black, um, so I'm pretty impressed with it, uh, I'm glad with the, the switch here I did, so yeah, here it is. Uh, all done. Sorry I wasn't able to get my camera on a tripod, um, but I lost the little connection to put to the camera. So anyways, here it is. Um, rolling it, rolling the background was uh, a lot easier than spray painting. Um, no, no fumes that you're getting ready to pass out over or anything. So uh, the next tank that I uh, paint the background, I will definitely be rolling it. But anyways, here it is, a 29 gallon cichlid tank painted. Um, yeah, so, oh, and when I when I do the, the tank switches, uh, I figured out what I want to do with this 29 gallon. I want to do a, uh, a planted aquarium and just do some shrimps and some cardinal tetras or something. So that's the plan with, uh, with the 29 gallon in the future. So anyways, here it is.